We're going to go talk to the president's staunchest defender in the House of Representatives. Whatever we hear from Matt Gates here is probably what we're going to likely hear from most Republicans today. Excellent shoes. Thanks, man. Get these shoes. Man. Oh, man, those are nice. Your shoes aren't shy, neither are you. <laughs> Get us up to date on what's going on. No quid pro quo. This conversation occurred in the context of two leaders being mutually laudatory. First of all, a quid pro quo doesn't need to be spoken, and the fact that aid was oh, with... The uns we're going to impeach the president on an unspoken quid pro quo? We have the president admitting that he asked, and then we have the transcript, asking a foreign leader to investigate a political opponent. Well, what you see is the president of the United States and the president of the Ukraine, I think, fusing their interests in rooting out corruption. You can't forget that this is a call about an election victory, and that very election, Zelensky wins somewhat surprisingly as a consequence of his anti-corruption uh, campaign. The president has never has expressed an interest in corruption in foreign countries, especially countries that are rife with corruption, now suddenly develops an interest in Ukraine. I have been side by side with members of the Trump government in foreign countries, right across the table from people in this part of the world, talking about the anti-corruption endeavors. My worry is that now that the president has released these transcripts, like you know, Democrats are shameless when it comes to pivoting and, and shifting ground. Like it was all about collusion until the Mueller report. Then it was all about obstruction of justice until Robert Mueller testified. Then it was all about abuse of power until Democrats couldn't win in court. And now lo and behold, it's all about the Ukraine. And now we've set the press that if the president doesn't have every conversation with every foreign leader in full public view, that somehow there's something untoward about that.